Well, today we have a fun garden project that basically both serves repurposing and also making something for an outdoor garden room, which is all the rage right now. Um, I am recycling an old light fixture, one of these that has been taken out. I can usually find these all over at garage sales. When I went to do this, I actually had to go to a lighting store and they went to the back room and found one for me. Um, you wanna remove all the wiring from your fixture and the next thing that you wanna do is paint it. And I chose orange, because why wouldn't you choose orange? Um, but also the other reason is that it's going in an oak tree with heavy shade and so that way we can see this better um, when we get in the shade. If I'd have painted it blue or green or something like that, it wouldn't have shown up so well. Um, so I painted that ahead of time. And the other thing that you want to do when you start doing this is check these, choose one that has large globes like this and also check these and make sure they're very tight before you start moving this around and turning it over. Um, the other thing that's very handy when you do this is a five gallon bucket because when you, either when you paint it, you can do that, you can set it on there and see how it sets there much better. And also when you go to plant into it, your five gallon bucket holds this uh, so that it's upright for you to plant into. Now I'm just going to fill these with soil. I really don't have to worry about drainage because it's, it's going to drain out because these are just set in here. So as I water, it'll drain out. I don't have any wiring in here anymore, so the water's not going to matter. Now the plants that I've chosen for this, I've chosen, think about where you're going to hang this. I'm hanging it in a very shady spot, so I'm using um, plants that like the shade. I'm using tuberous begonias. I'm also using some impatience. Taurinia can actually go in both sun and shade. These are flowering plants, which when you're making one for a shady area, sometimes it's harder to find color, but I've found uh, three flowering plants. The other thing that you want to think about is uh, something that will cascade over because it's going to be hanging up. So I'm using the variegated vinca so that it shows up better. And another one of my cascading plants here, which is kind of fun, is the chocolate mint because that way, um, when you water it, it's going to also smell minty. And um, you're going to have this in an area where you're sitting and all, and so you can have this extra fun smell as well as a cascading plant. So basically, I've got three of each of these plants. I've got my potting soil here, and just go ahead and fill up our globes. And we don't want to put too much in to begin with because we've got some soil on our plants. And then I'm just going to start placing in my plants, my vinca. I'm going to want it kind of towards the outside so that it can cascade over. And when you're doing these mixed planters like this, a lot of times they're going to be kind of, you kind of cram the plants in there and that's okay. Um, you're just doing this for a season. It's not like you're making a permanent planting out of it. Whoops. Okay. See, I said that was stable, but it's not quite as stable as I thought it was. Ha. So, okay. There we go. So we're just going to kind of place them in here as we go. And you can take a little bit of soil off the bottom in order to get them in here. We've got our last plant here, and we have to work on the stability thing here with the, the weight that we have with the plants in the soil. But there we go. You can see we've got all of our plants in. Whoop. And it is heavy. I'm just going to have to hold this. Now I want to water it in. Oh, here, I'll set it on the. There we go water this in and um, you can tell from this you're going to have to water these often. They're small containers um, with lots of plants in there 
but as long as you water them, they should do well all summer. And since they're outside, you can just use your hose. And then, okay, we've got them watered in here. Okay, so have someone help you hang this. And also, it is very heavy with the soil, so make sure that your hanger is a sturdy S-hook um, so that it doesn't come crashing down. The other thing to think about is because of our wind, um, we may want to even shorten this chain more so that it doesn't wave when we get our nice Oklahoma winds. But this will make a really fun addition to a shady spot in your garden. We hope you enjoyed this video. It's part of our Oklahoma Gardening YouTube channel. You can also find even more videos on our OK Gardening Classics YouTube channel. And join us on social media for great gardening tips, photos, and discussion.